All right, we're going to kick off availabilities at Charlotte Motor Speedway with Matt Crafton, driver of the number 88 Great Lakes Menards Toyota, Cameron Haley, driver of the number 13 Carolina Nut Company Cabinets by Haley Toyota, and Johnny Sauter, driver of the number 98 Smoky Mountain Curb Records Toyota. Last week at Kansas, Thor Sport Racing placed all three trucks in the top five for the first time in the team's history. Matt, can you speak to the success of the team, both in helping you win two championships and producing consistent finishes with each of its trucks? What was that? <laughs> we were talking. Matt, can you speak to the team's success in helping you along the two championships and producing consistent finishes with each truck? It's just all about, whoa, it's all about the uh, guys just bringing great, great trucks to the track each and every week, and it starts at the top with having Junior, I mean, leading those guys, bringing these trucks to the racetrack, and like I said, just having a great owner and great sponsor like I've had for so many years with them. All right, and Johnny, you've continued to be consistent this season, finishing in the top 10 every race. Talk about coming to Charlotte and what you need to do to get to Victory Lane this weekend. Well, I don't know if I know how to get to Victory Lane here, so uh, I've never done it. So. Um, yeah, I mean, we've been solid all year. Um, haven't probably had the speed quite like I'd like to have had so far, but uh, we've been solid just finishing races. And, you know, that's kind of a, a good deal at the beginning of the year just to kind of work on the points base so you can get a little cushion so you can start racing a little bit differently towards the middle part of the year. So um, Charlotte uh, was a decent run for us here last year. And, um, you know, we practiced today. It'll be a little different for the race tomorrow. Um, obviously, track conditions are going to change quite a bit. So... Having said all that, uh, I feel like we got a pretty good back package. We're, we're actually bringing the same truck here this weekend as we had last week at Kansas. So um, hopefully we learn some stuff at Kansas that we can apply to here and, um, you know, hopefully pick up where we left off a week ago and make it a little bit better and have a shot at it tomorrow. Cameron, you consistently produced higher finishes each race this season. Talking, talk about adjusting to your first full season with Thor Sport and running for Snooker Rookie of the Year honors. Uh, it's it's definitely been tough. Um, this race is going to be uh, my fifth new track again this year. So adjusting all the different tracks and having all the tracks being new has definitely been difficult. But uh, Thor Sports given me great trucks in week in and week out. And uh, like like you said, we've been consistently getting better every single race. And we, we've had great trucks and had some bad luck. And uh, I think Charlotte's uh, going to be another one where I have lots to learn. But I think we have a great truck here to do well. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Please state your name and affiliation, and we'll get a mic to you. We'll start up front. Steve Post, Motor Racing Network. Um, Cameron, as you've grown, and actually maybe you know Johnny and Matt can chime in as well, as you've learned from veteran teammates, are there things that you're learning where something Matt does may help you or something Johnny does to help you? Are you are you getting to that level where you can kind of pick their brains about different things and know how it translates to what you do and what you're looking for in a truck? And, and guys, you, you can kind of, from that perspective as well, how he's doing as far as being a young driver goes. Yeah, I mean, both of them have been a tremendous help for me already. And um, like I said, all these tracks have been new to me. So I, I can study race tapes, videos all I want, but until you talk to a driver, you don't really know a firsthand account of what's happened. And, and both these guys have helped me a lot. I haven't uh, been quite quick enough to, in order to run up beside them during races yet, but I think uh, we're getting there, and I think I can learn a lot from that as well. I, I think, you know, Cameron's obviously, um, just from my perspective looking into it, I, I don't really – know him, you know what I'm saying? He's rookie, new to the deal, but um, I think he's got a pretty good head on his shoulders. I see him doing things that uh, maybe necessarily don't see from a lot of rookie drivers. I think he's <laughs> taking care of his equipment and, and showing speed at the same time. Um, I think he's been top of the board, you know, at Atlanta and, and Kansas. So there's speed there and he's only going to get better. So I, I think he's doing a great job. And, um, you know, I, I see some things in him that I typically don't see in a lot of young guys, you know, at his age and his experience level. So I, I think he's doing a great job. We'll go to Bob. Uh, Bob Parker, CSPN. Uh, Matt, you're a friend of uh, Kyle Busch's. What's it going to be like, you know, just to see your friend back out on the track? And what do you think it means to the sport to have him back racing? Oh, it's good to see him back. I mean, I know, I mean, that was pretty crazy, correct, that he had there, and especially as bad as he was broke. To be back this soon, I would have never imagined him being back. So it's definitely good for the sport and definitely good for him to be back in it for sure. 
Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com for, for Matt and Johnny. Since you guys have been here before, uh, how much different is it going to be this weekend as opposed to last weekend as far as the, the tracks go? Because both mile and a half, we always hear, well, they're never the same. What do you expect? How much different do you expect it to be? Yeah, th this place is going to race. I mean, it'll race quite a bit different. The transition getting into turn one is a lot different than Kansas. Kansas has a really smooth transition getting in. Uh, turn three and four, I mean, they're, they're, like I said, mile and a half, but they race a lot different. But thing is, the tires got a lot of grip, and the track is I mean, fairly new. So you're, the side-by-side -side racing, you'll definitely see a little bit more of it here than you did at Kansas, just because it's so hard to race side-by-side -side at Kansas, just because you're lying on the air. So we're going to put on a good show tomorrow night for sure. Yeah, and I, you know, last week at Kansas, I mean, the racetrack has a lot of grip, obviously. So um, I was impressed at how wide the groove got last week at uh, at Kansas. I was, I felt like I was one of the first guys to jump to the top. So um, having said that, uh, this place is totally different. Um, you know, this this will race completely different. I think you'll you'll see most of the guys try to bottom feed, and ultimately, I think the winner will come from from somebody running around the bottom here. But uh, you know, by tomorrow night when it rolls around, the racetrack cools off a little bit. Obviously, it's been documented for years that this place is so temperamental to, to temperature and, and daytime to nighttime. So um, I would suspect that the racetrack, like I said, the winter will probably run around the bottom, but I think you'll see people all over the racetrack. And um, that's one of the unique unique things about this place is it's so hard to get a hold of. It's so hard to keep up with the racetrack from day to night. And um, that's something that I'm going to try to be more cognizant of than, than ever before going into tomorrow night. All right, we'll go to the back. Rhonda Beck, South Boston News and Record. Um, you guys have bigger breaks in between. Cups goes from week to week. What do you do? Some of you do late models, you know, from the break from Atlanta till you know, you went to the next race. How do you keep in shape? Uh, me personally, uh, um, I moved down to Sandusky, Ohio, which is where Thor Sport is based out of. And uh, I've been working down in the shop trying to learn the trucks and trying to learn little things here and there that help me. Uh, in terms of kind of physical performance, I mean, you, I don't know about these guys, but I hit the gym every day trying to keep up mentally and physically for every race. So, uh, I mean, it's kind of a combination of both things, both technical and physical. Matter, Johnny? I just sit on the couch and eat potato chips and sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly. No, it was really, I, the biggest thing I do, I mean, is try to stay in shape and just ride bike, bicycle on the road. And um, I've done, I haven't done any late model racing thing. Johnny does all that. I did one off-road race, like stadium racing. That was it in this time that we've had off. So I haven't had a whole, whole lot to do, to be totally honest. They need to bunch our schedule up and put some more races in there or something. Yeah, and I, I basically, um, you know, I don't do anything but work on my late model stuff, it seems like. So... Uh, I got a little shop at my house, and I got a couple cars, and um, I've ran a couple times this year already. So uh, that kind of takes care of most of my free time, I guess, and uh, chasing kids around the house takes part of my free time. And I, I try to run, um, you know, three miles a day, but I haven't done it this week. So I, I did it Monday, but I'm not very good about being regimented at it, so um, I'm kind of hit or miss on all that. So you, we're kind of fortunate truck races are a little shorter. It's, it's probably not that I'm totally important. All right, we'll come back up front to Steve. Steve Post Motor Racing Network. For Matt and for Johnny, uh, and Johnny, I know your residence has moved here recently, moving back home. Uh, Matt, we, we talk so much about Charlotte being the home race, the home track, the home crew, all the team guys come here. What does that mean for you guys? Because that's not the case, isn't it? Advantage is what's how, how does that work for you guys where everyone else is in one category, but you guys are kind of unique, particularly this weekend here at Charlotte? You hit the nail on the head. Johnny's unique for sure. Um, <laughs> what's really cool always coming to Charlotte and racing here, the team owner takes a lot of pride in it because we're based out of Sandusky, Ohio. And then to be able to come down here and race here, and we did it, I haven't, it's been a while now, but we. We did win here, I think it was 2007. So to be able to come do that in their own backyard, it was really cool to get that win here. And like I said, Duke always takes a lot of pride in to be able to go down there and beat these guys in their own backyard. So that's definitely cool. And plus is our guest list isn't always full here. 
yeah, I, I mean, there's nothing here for me that says it's a home game anymore, I guess, since since moving away. So, um, like Matt just talked about, Thorsport, obviously based out of Sandusky, Ohio. So, um, you know, it would be cool to come down here and, and have some success. But uh, it is different, you know, just flying in last night and doing a little driving around this morning. Um, staying in a hotel in Mooresville seems kind of weird when, when I've lived here for the last 14, 15 years. So, um, but I'm digging it where I'm at. So, it's all good. All right, we'll go to Chris Knight. ChrisMikeHitchmans.com. Johnny, can you talk about your relationship with Doug George and how your guys' relationship has progressed this season? And then uh, also, I know Matt talked about this on Race Hub yesterday. He he's, says he's comfortable staying in the truck series. Is that something that you're comfortable with now, too, staying in the truck series? Or do you have desire to move back in Xfinity or maybe even Cups down the line? Yeah, I mean, I'm um, totally content to be in the truck series. Um, and I've said it for years, just knowing that you have the opportunity to go to the racetrack and, and win. Um, that means more to me than saying that, you know, you're a cup driver or whatever. So um, having said that, I've, you know, had some success in the truck series over the past five, six years, whatever it is. And um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy doing what we're doing. But, uh, you know, my relationship with Doug, it's, it's tough. You know, we, we talked about it a little while ago, um, having the big gaps in the schedule. So you start off at Daytona and, and you get all ready to go. And then, uh, you know, and this year was a little bit different than years past, but uh, you know, we go to Atlanta, and then you've got four weeks off. You go to Martinsville, and then you got six weeks off. So it's kind of hard to get into a rhythm, um, so to speak. It's, it's just, you know, talking back and forth, the dialogue that a driver and a crew chief need to have with, with chassis stuff and things that you're thinking about, and you, you get those big lapses in, in the schedule, and it makes it hard. So I'm, I'm looking forward to these next six six races in the next eight weeks, I think it is. So um, I think that's where we'll, hopefully we'll get clicking and uh, – you know, I, I like Doug. I like his personality. I like his energy. I mean, he's 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 fired up all the time, which is which is good. I, I like to see that in a person. So, um, I, I think we're going to be good. We just got to get to the racetrack a little bit more often and, and repetitively, I guess, and get going. Any additional questions? All right, we'll finish up with Zach. Zach Albert, NASCAR.com for Cameron. Um, it seems like your career arc has, you know, really gone sharply upward. Has, has there been, like, over the last two, three years, like, one moment or, or race that you can point to that, you know, kind of opened people's eyes or, or really helped uh, jumpstart, um, you know, where you are now? Well, especially being from Canada, it's um, obviously we don't have almost any drivers coming up from Canada into the National Series. And, um, it was difficult for me coming up, moving up through the ranks, but uh, I think a couple of years I, ago I won the uh, UNOH Battle of the Beach at Daytona in the Canon uh, West car, and I think that's kind of what put me on the map uh, with everybody. Everyone started to know my name after that, and uh, obviously moving to the Canon East series last year, it kind of got me down into the North Carolina, Charlotte area, and uh, I guess people started to know my name more after that. So it was kind of that uh, Battle of the Beach win that really sparked people knowing me more. It does seem like a long time ago now. I mean, it was only two years ago, but when it comes down to it, I've done so much since then. I've done so many races since then that it, it seems like a long time ago for sure. All right, thanks, guys, and good luck this weekend.